answer from Daddy when he's coming? Uh, okay. Is there a way that I can make it um, bigger so I can see the screen? Well, I don't know how much it's left on the screen. I don't know what I have. Me either. Just one more. Oh, there we go. Hey, guys. How is everybody doing? Let's see. I'm going to walk out for a minute. Hey, everybody. I'm going to walk out for a minute. Just to, I walked out for a minute just to... Um, Is everybody okay? Let me see if I can turn on something, some, some kind of music. Is everybody good? I hope everybody is good. Okay, I found this. Let's see. Where's your thing? Oh, I'm going to start you on your thing. Let's see. Um, hmm, this is, oh, I know what I just need to know. I got to go clean out my phone. So listen, you guys, um, feel free to leave comments, um, write a comment. Uh, I um, got online today let me see what time it is I got online today because as I got up I was just thinking about uh, the pandemic and all that's going on in the world about the fires and it just seems like every day you turn on the news and there's just something else about maybe the school system I have many friends who are teachers and um, many friends that are government workers even my husband is downstairs working downstairs um, however um, you know, I noticed that they said today, I don't, I believe it was on GMA that they were talking about the fires and it, no, I'm, I'm, I'm with Kelly and Kelly and who, I don't know who that young man is, but they were talking about the fires in California and how with the fires, they, um, all of a sudden a dog decides to growl while I'm doing a live. Um, all of a sudden, the fires and the firefighters begin to, as the fires begin to draw nigh in this particular community, that the fires, um, the firemen begin to draw nigh to the fire and push the fire back. And I entitled this, uh, We Walk by Faith and Not by Sight for a Reason. And um, I just heard the Lord say on today to do this live. And one of the things that um, he said for me to tell you all is faith pays no attention to, to what it sees, correct? Because it says in uh, Hebrews 11, 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And as believers, we have a lot of things that are before us. I mean, there are trials and tests all the time that go on in our lives, but our faith is a shield. And so when I thought about this taping today, I also thought about where you may be in terms of your homes, um, in terms of, uh, yeah, many of you are at home. However, if you begin to look on the news, you're beginning to see people to either go back to work or have realized that they have to continue to do life. You may not like this message on the day, but it's okay. You got to continue to do life. And um, what I, I realized when I saw on TV today, I think it's, her name is Kathy, and it used to be Regis. Uh, I, I forgot the guy now. He's on Dancing with the Stars as the, as the guy who's like the host. And you guys can tell me later who it was. But um, what I began to see is they had gone back into a studio, and I believe she was in New York. Uh, Kelly was in New York, and he was in California at one point. But it has changed and they are now together, but they are six feet apart in social distancing. What am I saying? It takes faith 
to not pay attention to what you see. It takes faith to get up in the morning now and realize that you cannot continue to put on pajamas, that you cannot continue not to look the part of where you want to go. Many of you are saying that you're tired of being in the pandemic. Many of you are saying that you're tired of what's going on. Well, you have the ability to change that. And you have the ability to change that by your actions. What are you saying? What am I saying? Get up. Get up from this place that you have uh, settled in, get up and get dressed, get up and act like you're going to work, get up ladies, and if you do wear makeup or if you don't wear makeup but you just do a lippy, get up and put that on. Uh, please do not continue people to stay stuck. For those men who came, went to work for, with a shirt and tie, or if you did a shirt, I know it's the craziest thing. And you're like, really, Diane? Faith pays no attention to what it sees. And we have to begin to let the, the enemy, just like I thought about those firefighters who begin to push back that fire, you've got to begin to do something different. And you've got to tell the enemy, not today, devil. I'm going to get up and I'm going to put on some clothes. And what you may find in doing so is not only do I need to put on some clothes, I may, may need to close that refrigerator door while I'm at it. But put on some clothes put on your makeup, do what you would have done if you were at work. You have got to walk by faith and not by sight. Do not settle for less. Do not uh, allow yourself to get in a place of so total rest that you don't realize that um, when the conditions are th and, and the things will change, will you be ready? And so this is just a simple clarion call to tell believers, especially uh, because believers should hear my voice and know that this is, there are seasons, but now there's a season in which we have to begin to push back from dark, in the darkness and say, not today. And I am going to walk by faith and not by sight. Even when you are out, um, believers, you should not be looking like the rest of the world. If this were not a pandemic, how would you go to the store? How would you go... How, if you were coming from work, how would you go to the grocery store? Again, you've got to have the mindset that this will not change my life. Not only am I a conqueror, but I am more than a conqueror. And I am going to begin to identify some areas where I am letting go. And I'm getting too comfortable in my skin. And I'm going to have to change that. You change that. I change that. Believers, we change that. We change atmospheres by what we say. We can, we have the ability to bind things on earth and loose things in heaven. And I am asking you to begin to realize that it's our role, it is our responsibility to change the atmosphere as it concerns this coronavirus. And the only way we're going to do that is begin to look the part that we are not going to have it, that we will continue to be like this despite what's going on. And when people see you out in public, I am sure they're gonna be like, what? She all dressed up looking like she's going to work because we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. We don't, we are in this world. We're not of this world. So as peculiar people, it is our responsibility as the change agents to come out of this pandemic unspoiled, unscathed, on top, but we need to start with while we're in it. We need to start while we're in the storm to say we're going through the storm and we're going to do it and make a difference by what people see. What people see, you guys, is the Gentile bait. What people see will be like, they'll even probably come up to you, so you, you back at work? Oh, no, this is a, a Jesus thing. I'm walking by faith. What do you mean by that? I, I, don't, I, I believe this pandemic is, is, is ended, and I'm going to act like it, and I'm going to continue to dress and do the things that I need to do because it's the faith that takes. And so, you guys, here's some, a set of instructions. Get up from your place of complacency. Begin to do whatever it was that you were doing prior to this and do not let off of it. For we walk by faith 
and not by sight. I am Diane Moore. And this message is coming from me, but this message is also coming from the Holy Ghost. Peace and blessings unto you always, and I will see you in the move of God. God bless.